بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي uh, Brothers, sisters, uh, before I start today uh, I want to say uh, something that uh, for the French uh, please and please and please for all my speech is, is, is toward all the Muslims in the, uh, around the world please buy out all kind of uh, French goods and the Prophet Muhammad uh, Allah's blessing has peace be on him is this red line okay for us uh, as a Muslims is a red line Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so please never 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 and ever uh, try to buy any kind of uh, French goods uh, and uh, for our lesson uh, is uh, I want to show you for this lesson how, how we can make uh, a, uh, how we can make a um, tapered beam a tapered section connection for uh, this uh, lesson uh, the first thing what I, what I can do I can uh, put some lines and after that I, I, I can draw uh, these lines on it but I think the best way is to 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 make a standard um, a portal frame uh, just like this a standard one and let's say uh, 20,000 enter right click so it gives us this uh, this one okay that is very good as you see here we have uh, this uh, this one and we can set uh, the values here uh, this 500 let's say uh, uh, 6 meter and this uh, 7500 uh, and let's just li make like this okay so what I have as here we have uh, this uh, kind of red uh, red line and it's very good for us uh, what we can do I can just delete uh, this one and uh, sorry what I can do is here I have uh, this one if I explode this one this line is here this line will remain uh, after that I can delete these uh, sections here and uh, when I delete uh, this section uh, I don't need this section because I don't uh, want to uh, make a standard section and now I have uh, like this this one okay so what I can do now I can just click here uh, for the wall beam and click here and click here and again I can close further for the first time and again I want to make uh, another beam from uh, let's say from this point to uh, this point okay so we have beam and uh, a column and we uh, will arrange the uh, values for uh, that one okay the first one let me uh, try to make uh, the red uh, the the column right click after that uh, go to advanced properties and uh, what I need I need to be two parts okay uh, what's the upper part I, I need the upper part for uh, only ju uh, just for making a part of connection okay so what I'm doing now I say uh, I have a fixed connection for a uh, fixed length sorry for this one and let me try to uh, 550 uh, for this one okay uh, as, as first as is here is we have, we have tw uh, 250 and the end which is here is uh, 400 let's say 600 we have and after that we uh, we go back to uh, 400 as you see just like uh, this here okay for the flange uh, I will uh, make parallel flange flanges uh, and the flange with let's say uh, 200 it's a core uh, of course it's a condition design okay so uh, just uh, you have to put uh, the values for your design and as you see here here uh, this one let's say 20 which is the part of connection okay this is what I'm using uh, this 20 because it's this this is the part of uh, connection and I will use it later for the segment what I can do I can uh, just say uh, continuous web so it gives me uh, this continuous okay after that I can close it I can go back to the uh, uh, conceptual and I can select this one uh, for this time uh, I can uh, say advanced properties 
uh, again I will fix the first and this, uh, last one because uh, I want for uh, this is the uh, the hinge place and uh, of course uh, there uh, also we have a hinge anyhow uh, so the start let's say 550 and this one let's say 250 uh, 250 again and let's say I don't know 550 or 500 uh, is good <coughs> for this area as you see here it's just like uh, this uh, I fixed the lengths so I can say I have two meter from each side maybe this one also 2000 or or if you want you can make uh, this uh, 3000 it's up to you okay so that is very good now what I have uh, be be sure that uh, that here is is the, the 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 start point okay if you want to change you can change you can just uh, click here and after that you can go with this point or maybe if you want to uh, put in the middle you can do it uh, very easily how you can do it just by clicking and uh, shift right click and uh, meet point between two points maybe this point and uh, this point and uh, it gives uh, it puts in the middle so now uh, this area uh, this this one became uh, 550 okay uh, sometimes when, when we can we when we want to make connection uh, we can make connection for that one uh, even for the hunch we can use this one but sometimes it gives us a uh, problem I'll, I'll, I'll show you the the solution for that also okay so but before before I, I, I start to, to make connections what I'm doing I'm just uh, clicking here and I want to put uh, or make it mirror for this one so MI for mirror and just let me right here MI for mirror and as you see here I cannot uh, say this uh, choose the midpoint because it's the osnap right click here of Ob osnap uh, object uh, I have midpoint uh, what I need I need parallel apparent intersection nodes uh, perpendicular I want to all of this and click OK and now I can uh, use the midpoint and erase object we don't need erase so we say no now it's very good what we have we have uh, these points or, or uh, the, uh, we have this beam here this one and this one and we have to use uh, the uh, uh, suitable connection for each one uh, let me try to first to, to use this this one uh, knee of the frame which is the hatch uh, let me try for the other side if I select the the column first space this one space you see it's kind of, of uh, I don't know it's not not uh, right connection but however if we make for the other side maybe it gives us um, correct uh, cho choice let me try I'll show you the the, the, the why it's like this you see now it's very good as uh, for the first time is very good and what I'm doing now I will uh, play around with the uh, other uh, things let me just see this by layer to the color okay so the first thing what I'm doing is to uh, remove this hatch here so by double clicking on the, uh, in here or by selecting any kind of uh, this uh, part of connection right click uh, advanced properties we can bring uh, this dialog the first one is the uh, hunches so if it's it's uh, made from uh, plates or profile you see we can choose profile but we don't need not mm, mm, this one or this one we say none okay now for the first time is is very we did a very good job okay we after that we go to an end plate and the end plate with as is here is like this so we say 200 because we want to be just like uh, this the column yeah we forgot to, to to increase this one no problem we can increase the the height of the uh, beam also this one anyhow as is a right click advanced joint properties so what do we have mm, and plate uh, this 15 as you see here now is 10, 10 by 10 5 by 5 
we have so we can make this one also five not minus five it's just like this after that we can go with the bolts uh, the bolt group as you see is 200 uh, the intermediate distance let's say 120 or maybe 100 i think is good anyhow no problem uh, as you see these two bolts uh, let's tr uh, try to use these two bolts as here now it's just like this because it, it can try to, to connect this plate to this one so uh, it goes there so what I'm doing now, I will just go to the bo uh, bolt groups, I use uh, the second one, I will not use them and I will try to use only one group or I try to use the uh, bolts, even if, if I to use two, two uh, groups, no problem, but you have to uh, use on this uh, line, okay, this line here, uh, okay, so this is the first uh, one, let's say we have at 50 or maybe uh, something like 80 and after that what we need uh, we let's say we have four phone number and let's say um, if we say we have at 90 you should turn something like this and the second one let's say we have one one ball and uh, this kind of ball let's say 100 is uh, or maybe uh, 90 again anyhow so we we can use uh, more than one groups also so this is the solution for for this one B by the way uh, i can uh, go to the cap and i will i don't need any cap of this one okay as you see now we could uh, solve this problem uh, your problem was uh, as you see here this is 20 and this is 15 uh, so i'll uh, make this one also 15 as i said before it's uh, it's uh, kind of up to your design okay as you see, I'm, I'm choosing, choosing this one. Uh, I could uh, make this connection uh, very quickly, and uh, uh, it's a nice connection. And don't forget that this uh, uh, a parametric connection. So when I'm using uh, this one, when I'm changing this one, it will change with that one. So uh, just click, right click, uh, advanced properties, uh, and go to uh, this one. Yes, um, at the end. As you hear, as then is, is uh, 400. If I said it's 500, now the connection will change with that one. So that's very good for me and for you all uh, that we can use uh, this one. Okay. So there's another another question: is uh, how about the other side? Even if if I delete this one, I will delete this one and I will copy that one. Okay, I will copy it. Uh, so let me show you if I copied that one so well, what will happen I'll copy this one click by template and I will choose uh, this one and first the column space the beam space you see it's not not like this so what's the problem for that uh, uh, the trick the trick point for, for this type of connection was this plate okay right uh, the tricky point was uh, this plate, so we could uh, get this plate. Maybe you you we uh, you used uh, this one before, but you uh, don't know how to uh, make this plate. But uh, with this uh, tutorial now, you can you can do it very easily. Okay, that is very good. So what about the the, the uh, this this one? Okay, I'll show you. Because we mirror this one, guys. Because we mirror this one, so this uh, this element t take the mirror uh, in the uh, position. Right click, just advance, go to advanced properties, go to uh, position. As you see here, it's mirrored. So what is this makes? When it ma uh, make mirror, so the, this beam will take the connection with a straight part of the of the of the uh, beam. Okay, with a straight part. But here because it's not mirrored so it will uh, take the connection uh, with the sloped part so what's the solution the solution is 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 pretty easy uh, which is bit just by clicking here right click advanced properties and we go to the position uh, and just and check this one and it will solve the problem and just like this it's so easy it's so easy brothers so this is the 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 first uh, the, the connection for this one okay so we did the first uh, connection 
and this type of connection how we can make this type of connection of, of course it's, it's, it's pretty easy again we can go to with a front plate splice okay just click this one select the first one enter uh, or space bar uh, select the second one enter or space you see now yeah it's 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 very good very good connection uh, we have this one and we after that we arrange for the uh, we don't need any kind of clearance the plate one is uh, 10 let's say mm, I don't know 15 maybe and the plate 2 is the same with the plate 1 uh, here we can uh, specify the height and whatever we want uh, plate 2 we go to the bolts as you see the bolt groups uh, this says is the uh, to the pre was previous one if you want to put one group so we can center the, uh, this group you see here we can center the first group and uh, the the distance between them let's say uh, what we have we have four uh, balls uh, with the distance of 90 I think is uh, sorry 90 is good you see just like this and the gauge distance is 120 because uh, mm, 120 is, 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 is too much uh, let's say 100 and I'll solve the, the rest of the problem with the beams as is here just right click after that uh, go to proper advanced properties and uh, go to flange as is here we have flange only 100 millimeter so I will make it just like the column which is 200 millimeter sorry 200 again 200 just like this now I have this problem uh, this one and uh, again uh, for this one I have to uh, make it the same thing we have the same problem with this one first I want to I make a parallel if, uh, otherwise I have to change in both the sides at the end of the end or and at the start so I will say 200 200 200 of course after later uh, we will change the the connection also or we will correct the connection by double clicking under the um, on the join box and we go with the plate one as you see the plate one uh, plate one is 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 not is total if we say projections and the projections let's say to the top we have only 10 at the bottom uh, we have only 10 uh, sides we have 0 by 0 so it, uh, we want to make uh, the same uh, distance or uh, 200 as li just like the rafter okay you see now I think it's, it's very good and we can do uh, whatever uh, beam or whatever connection we want by the way we can we can now we can use this one this this port of frame take take this port of frame and, and copy it or we can uh, take or we can copy the first uh, uh, thing uh, we can copy the uh, columns and the beam without connection and after that to make the connection source to be one group uh, for this purpose uh, let's say we want to uh, just four or five whatever uh, and in this direction, in y direction, let's say uh, we have uh, this one and just click OK and we see and yeah, you see now we we have uh, this uh, kind of of call warehouse and for the parents we can make uh, some parents for this one as you see here we can use this one parents uh, and we can uh, select the uh, beams here just like this and enter uh, do the uh, do you want to select the reference point yes of course I want to uh, select the reference point uh, my reference point is here 
uh, this reference point is very uh, useful for me for later stages so I will um, uh, select this one so I'll say yes and for that uh, one additional no I don't need any additional so I will say no okay that is very very good uh, as you hear for the elements uh, what I can say uh, the sections you see I can use C uh, this kind of C if you want uh, or uh, maybe in more of most of the cases we are using rectangles uh, so uh, I have a, a, a tutorial for that how we can change uh, rectangles or bring uh, rectangles for here or adding for this uh, uh, one uh, uh, for this parametric this um, uh, uh, parametric joint okay uh, after that uh, distances uh, let's say 125 I think it's it's kind of enough and the reference point is this one so uh, the first one is 200 from the first reference point so I have this one uh, as you see here we can offset only the last one we can offset it so what I can do I can go to the last one which is as here is now highlighted and I can offset it by uh, something like 200 I don't know if it's good you see 200 maybe 300 whatever we want if we want to uh, offset that one okay uh, so I think now is very good uh, for us and uh, we can uh, just uh, mirrored for the uh, other side uh, but no problem let's try to, to find out uh, or let me be uh, before this one let me try if we have uh, some connecting pipes uh, and how we can make a uh, connection for that uh, of course we have many kind of uh, or main type of connections uh, but I want to make this one for yourself so uh, we will go with the Australian uh, or this one let's say maybe this one so we can use something like this one 10 by 10 with 3 millimeters okay so we have this uh, this uh, one how we can use as uh, or how we can choose a suitable connection so for this purpose we will go to the connection valve and bring the connections here and uh, in most of the cases we have uh, even we have uh, end plate uh, if we want to make end plate we can use uh, end plate here this one okay just like this we can use uh, end plate for this one we can play with the parameters uh, we don't have any problem with that so by total you see uh, now the plate height uh, let's say uh, 300 I don't know uh, it's kind of uh, the beam top you see uh, the top uh, is this one let's say 100 because we have 100 by 100 and 100 is the uh, this one uh, for the horizontal for the bolts let's say we have 60 millimeters for the horizontal let's say total and uh, again 300 or maybe even 200 w works for that uh, the center is uh, 100 let's say 150 I think it's, it's not enough let's say 200 a vertical bolts let's say centered and uh, let's say this is zero we don't have any uh, this one and we have the two bolts uh, the distance will be 200 between there okay so this one kind of the bolt and I know uh, this uh, a little bit big uh, the plate but this is one kind of uh, the connection I want to show you another connection for the, the uh, for other side uh, for this side what we need uh, what or what we can do we can just go to the shear plate this one we can use the sheet plate if we want you can just select the uh, column and select this one as you see uh, here uh, the shear plate is uh, the the shear plate is uh, the side one side and how can I bring it uh, if I want to make it uh, from the bottom or the, or, uh, the top 
how can I make it? If I just hear this, there's no choice to make uh, something like this, but we can do or we can make uh, this one by a trick or using uh, a trick for that. Uh, and uh, this trick will be uh, from here. Okay, just select this one or double click uh, here and go to the positioning. And from the positioning, we can just uh, rotate it by 90 degrees or 100 uh, you see we can use uh, this one you see when we are using this one after that what we, uh, we do we go back to uh, uh, the connection uh, itself and we uh, specify or we uh, change the, the, the plates and uh, things like this. As here we have the uh, left, right, let's say left, uh, what's the, the, the uh, shape will be, the shape will be rectangle or flange both sides as is here. And uh, what we can do, we can do whatever, whatever we want. Uh, if we say offset by 20, uh, and this is the, the this is the, the plate, this plate. The plate shape is straight and lower side is horizontal. We can play around with these uh, uh, parameters here. And uh, if we go to bolts, uh, we see the horizontal bolts, uh, the horizontal bolts is the, with the end beam. Uh, as a vertical bolt again let's see in the middle so uh, it comes in the, in the middle this one and uh, after that uh, the first one as you see is uh, the uh, let's say the distance between the two bolts is we have 100 uh, so if we say we have 60 we see now uh, we uh, did uh, the bolts we get the bolts here in the right position if we go with the horizontal beam uh, the horizontal will be uh, 440 I think is, is quite enough and again 40 is quite enough and for the vertical uh, for the vertical one is 50 if we say we have 100 you see we have 40 maybe uh, again here I think is, is good but you can play around with this one mm, mm, bolt sticker you can use it just like this it's three uh, from one minus one as you see if you want to uh, use something like this okay so this is another type of connection that you can use uh, however it's not not uh, I think is uh, I see uh, it's not uh, practical but uh, you can do something like this also okay Another kind of, 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 of connection, sometimes when we have a pipe outside, uh, let's try uh, to make this type of connection also. I will, I will try to make a, can, uh, a pipe here and I'll show you the, the exact uh, thing that I want to show you. Okay, right, just right click and positioning uh, with the positioning here. Uh, maybe this one is not, not a big issue yeah it's just like this okay so let me bring it up a little bit let's go just like this so if we have this pipe how we can uh, connect with this one we can do it by using plates okay uh, the first of all uh, the, the plate thickness will be 100 I want to, uh, I want to uh, bring uh, bring it this one outside by 10 millimeter which is uh, the plate thickness okay 10 millimeters so this is the first thing that I did okay that's very good and the uh, next uh, step what I'm doing the next step I'm doing is to to, to put uh, a plate on this uh, to put a, pl a plate on this uh, end and this and then the other end okay so this is another a step I have to I have to follow that uh, I'll bring uh, as we know here we have this one here uh, place we can use 
so I will use this plate on flange, uh, maybe on flange or web, maybe on web. I don't know. Uh, we can uh, try it later. Uh, do you want to use a reference point? Yes, I want to ref uh, use a reference uh, point. So just click yes, and I want to make uh, this point is uh, as a reference. Okay. So now uh, we uh, choose the. Um, we choose uh, either uh, we mistake for uh, we have mistake so because if we used uh, flinch it, but it's uh, it's web this is the flinch this is web so I will just delete this one what we need we need uh, for the web again select the beam yes select this one as you see now we have uh, this kind of uh, plate it's uh, this one side yeah we need only one side uh, the total height is uh, let's say 240 or uh, something else 300 whatever I don't care uh, and the width let's say we have something uh, maybe 80 I think is enough and 300 is too much so I will uh, say 240 maybe but I, I yeah uh, I made a mistake I made a mistake because I used a reference point here, but I have to use a reference point as a middle, so it it will uh, give me from the middle. Okay, so what I can I can do I can use uh, just let's say 50. This is the offset from for for this side. I will make this one zero, and maybe this one 50 if I offset this one, or uh, maybe minus 50. Yeah, now it's in the middle. Why is 50? Because I think uh, this one is 100 by 100. Yeah. So now uh, this one is in the middle. I use this one right. I use this one, but I offset it by uh, 50 millimeters, which is 5 centi uh, meters. Okay. What I'm doing uh, t up to, up to this point, I uh, I cannot make uh, the connection for that. Why? Because I have to have another another uh, plate, so uh, this plate or uh, this plate I want to weld with this one. I think uh, this one I, I used uh, 80. I will make it this one, maybe 50 or any any, any value, but it's a small value, no problem. Okay, so I want to I want to make another plate which is with this plate to, uh, to be uh, connected with the ball. And connected with this one with uh, uh, connected with this one with weld and with this one with wall well so what I'm doing I can play uh, make plate on plate just click here and make plate on plate enter as you see here I made this one and I will say the projections and the projections I will produce I will make it zero so it uh, will be exactly on uh, this area okay exactly on this area but if I, I leave it like this uh, because when 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 we weld uh, this one with uh, this one with this uh, one it will give us as kind of uh, the wall thickness so it's better for me to to uh, make this one or to move this one by 10 centi uh, 10 millimeters which is 10 centimeter uh, one centimeter. Sorry, advanced properties, and I will. Uh, sorry, just select this one. Right click, advanced joint properties, and make this one offset by ten. As you see, that this one will go with that one because it's uh, plate on plate. Okay. After that, I will select this one. Right click, advanced joint properties, and let's say mm, ten. I don't know in which side. Maybe this zero. Uh, I think projection four, uh, ten, no, uh, this projection, ten. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is this one, but I have to put it in minus value. Okay. So minus ten will give me the exact position for this one because I, I used this one ten and this minus ten. That's very good. And after that, what I'm doing. I can select this two and make uh, where's the, this one go to weld uh, 
this is a uh, good weld here and just weld with one point yeah it's on shop uh, and after that we can go with this uh, go to this side and uh, make it uh, make this one you change UCS for this and select these two plates as is here select these two plates and go to the bolts uh, maybe uh, we can use these two points and make like this and we go to the distance in the X direction we want just one and in the Y direction we want to uh, like this and maybe 40 as a distance and we can go uh, uh, more as you see here this a symbol is the location is 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 side okay on side uh, so it's not to be one a symbol for this one and we go with the other with the rest we have a whole definition which is the uh, slot part uh, we can give it a slot uh, slot because uh, for this so let's say this one is we have a slot uh, slotted hole and the slot will be three uh, cent centimeter is 30 millimeter I think now is very good and we can do whatever we want uh, so that's very very good and the last thing that I want to uh, show you is uh, about the material if we go uh, if we save this one well, let's uh, try to save this one just on this top and let's say EP uh, EP and taper tapered where has tapered uh, port of frame let's say just save it uh, if we go uh, with numbering if we go with numbering and make numbering for that what kind of numbering we used and just apply now okay and uh, we use this one is internal so I'll choose another way because uh, I don't need number uh, this one yeah I want to use this one and uh, this one for all the time uh, okay uh, we have to delete this uh, anyhow no problem this internal I, I have a uh, uh, to tell about that how we can uh, eliminate this one uh, and it's pretty easy no problem uh, but about the material let's try to to make a list BOM and uh, if we go with the output BOM templates if we if, even we, if we go with assembly list uh, let's compound section list go to compound section list let's say okay because we have to compound sections right uh, so we see the list of the compound sections it's not compound section it's taper section so let's try to assemble list And as a th uh, I know the solution for that, but I want to show you uh, for which one we can uh, use. As here, we have uh, C. It gives us for the C, for the hole, for the plate. Uh, but for the plate here, as is here, for the plate. Uh, but it uh, it cannot give us the for the uh, composition. Even if we delete the uh, go go to the numbering and delete the numbering here uh, from the output is here. If we delete this one. Uh, if I delete numbering for all the kind of uh, single part and assembly and uh, this one and make a, a numbering uh, from the first okay as you see now it's numbering changed but it cannot give us the, the numbering for this one you see we have uh, six number here six number here and this one also how we can take take the, the material for that one uh, the trick key point is here and uh, how we can make uh, material for them what i'm doing i just select all of uh, these columns right click advanced properties and uh, uh, make it behavior separated and behavior separated beam just like this 
for the display separated and this one is uh, uh, like this again for uh, this one and this one also right click uh, for this one again for everything right click uh, I think I I use it uh, lines with that one right click advanced properties and we will go with uh, display type separated behavior separated but as here uh, we have to when we change this one we have to make uh, numbering again so I will again I can delete all the lines I don't need anymore and I will use this one right click again advanced properties for uh, display type is separated behavior is separated as you use holes for numbering uh, and after that this whole use holes for numbering is, is exists on, on uh, uh, version two, uh, two, uh, 2021 okay and now what I'm doing I'll uh, make a uh, numbering another one one more time okay now it gives me uh, all these uh, things all the plates here exist but as you see here we have some some kind of the minus part mark which is the system line the system line for for these uh, beams right we have uh, one two six and th this is the, the total uh, system lines that exist on on my uh, uh, project after that go to the template and what we go we we go with uh, plate list right because we have uh, we changed all of this uh, one for for plates so we need plate list and it gives us plate list even if we go with the material list it will give us uh, the material list just like this here uh, we have uh, we have this this one as you see this is the 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 the, uh, the length of that let's go with the material list and we see uh, what's what kind of material uh, we have here and uh, we sit together uh, now it lists this everything is a straight beam as you see here we have straight beam we have plates as you see that the total uh, length of the plates now we have and the total project is uh, go to the uh, we have hexagonal beam we have it's about uh, three uh, we what we have we have uh, only three tons now everything is is, is uh, material and if we go with a material in summary uh, it gives us a quietly different different thing which is uh, leases the plates uh, according to its um, thickness which uh, we want uh, of course as you see here this is the temple uh, millimeters the place with the 10 millimeters uh, the sections, C sections, uh, pipes or tubes, and uh, this is uh, 20 millimeters. And I think this is kind of very good, good thing here. This is 15, which is 15 millimeters. We have for the connection, uh, connections here. And that's that's all uh, for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and share this. Uh, a video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to buy cut any kind of the French goods nobody should buy any kind of uh, French goods uh, uh, till uh, they uh, they apologize to all the Muslims okay we have to we have to support our, our prophet just support your prophet prophet even if uh, with one uh, with one good deed thank you very